Hello, hello, hello. This is Tamika Seaton, President and CEO of Grow Your Nonprofit, where we help startups, small and stagnant nonprofits grow through fundraising strategies, strategic planning, and so much more. Guys, today you're in for a treat. I have my special guest here, TJ. He is with Hodges University. He'll tell you all about how to build your brand, public relations, and how to build credibility for your nonprofit. So this will apply whether you are a startup nonprofit or already established nonprofit. You'll all get something out of it. So before we get started, I'd like to thank the sponsors of my podcast, Hodges University with a campus in Fort Myers. Stay near, go far. They change lives for the better. Trinity Life Foundation Naples, helping at risk through their enrichment programs. AVID, that stands for the Associations of Haitians Living Abroad. They just opened an amazing support center right here in the beautiful Fort Myers, where they will help you with immigration support, utility billing, and guess what? English as a second language. Last but not least, Vax Truths. They just received a grant from the CDC to raise awareness of COVID-19 and vaccine resources in the black and brown communities. So guys, like I said, I have my best special guest here, TJ. Yes. Hey TJ, how are I you? I'm so happy, so glad to be here. And I want to let your, 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 your fans, your guests know, there is no teleprompter in front of you. No, there that isn't. Was all straight off the top. That was really good too, by the way. Thank you, thank wow. you. Thank you. Yeah, I felt it was very important because I I, I had a um, a segment on a particular show, and I used to keep notes, mm. and I used to notice that my head was always in the notes, mm. and I didn't like that. So I said, yep. I'm going to re- I, I'm going to remember my script. I'm going to remember yep. my guest who comes on, yes. and I'm just going to let it flow naturally. Absolutely, and that comes with time. Yes, it does. It comes with experience. Yes. So I'm definitely with you on that. Yes. Sure. Thank you so much. So TJ. Please share with our audience a little bit about yourself, your yes. background and experience, and how you came into this position at uh, Hodges University. Well, to me, again, honestly, I was thinking about this, and I was like, where do I start? Uh-huh. I don't know where to start, but I will start here. I just Let's just start with my social media journey. Uh-huh. I'll just start there, and that started a little bit after college, a little bit in college, but more after college when I got the chance to travel. Yeah, let's talk about your traveling, your education, because I I know you mentioned that you played football overseas. That's correct. And that you also taught English in Brazil. That's correct. That is fascinating. I like to start with the person first before we get into your job and your career. Absolutely. So, yes, like you just said, that was probably the most life-changing experience. Wow. First, uh, traveling to a different country. Mm -hmm. Secondly, having a job and teaching English to students who didn't speak English at wow. all. So I would like to say that's my first big boy job. Oh, his yes. first big boy yes. job. That's cute. So I was in Brazil after college, right after I graduated, literally right after. Huh. Actually, I missed my graduation. Wow. Because my flight was the same day. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to attend graduation, but I was flying 18 hours to to South America. I would take that in the heartbeat. Absolutely. We're actually going to Costa Rica in October that's, for our honeymoon. Oh, that's amazing. You're going yeah. to definitely enjoy it. Yeah, that. yeah. So I got, it was a good trade off uh-huh. doing that. So that's where my whole social media journey started. Oh, wow. And I didn't go with anyone per se. So that more, that uh, expelled mm-hmm. me more mm-hmm. to put more out on social media yeah. to promote myself and what I was doing. Interesting. I like that. Yes. Yeah, I know before we started recording this podcast, I w- we were just kind of talking about how the, the segment of this particular yes. show would go. And then you mentioned, and I asked you, I said, well, what advice could you give to a nonprofit who's mm-hmm. just starting up or small? You've mentioned this, and this is genius to to document your journey on social media, Absolutely. even before you start before your nonprofit, you start your before business. you start your paperwork, yeah. and just and then they get to know the person. Absolutely, because at the time I didn't know what I was quite doing at the time per se. I was just telling you in hindsight, but at the time I was documenting all the stuff mm-hmm. that I was doing, traveling, getting my passport for the first time. Wow! Right, and I was you know a college graduate at the time, so I was twenty two, you know, fresh. So by me doing this, documenting, you know, the process mm-hmm. of going overseas, telling people, hey, people play American football in Brazil. That was a huge thing as well. People mm-hmm. didn't, didn't yeah. even know that, you know, American football existed in Brazil. Huh. But that was another huge part of my um, documentation was mm-hmm. showing these different things. 
Like I said at the time, I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I was just showing different stuff, showing me going up to the, the consulate to get my mm-hmm. passport and getting my citizenship. I was uh-huh. just showing all this stuff. And later on, later on down the road, when it was time to kind of sit down a little bit and tell everyone about those old experiences, I had all wow. that document, that footage. And then when it was time to launch my podcast, and then that's where everything came into fruition everything Mm. i did before the podcast up until the start of the podcast and everyone wanted to tune in because they remembered wow they remembered that 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 journey that i was showing them they were remembering all the documentation i was Mm -hmm. giving them and all the b-roll footage and Mm -hmm. they remember their stuff so when it was Mm -hmm. time to actually start my podcast and my my media Mm -hmm. um that was it made a lot more easier and people was they were familiar with me, mm. familiar with my journey, familiar with what I wanted to do with the podcast. I, I really like that because yeah. they know you, exactly. TJ. Was, They're connecting with you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because I listen to a lot of Steve Harvey because mm-hmm. he does a lot of mo- motivational speaking. And he mentioned something really in- interesting. He said he went, he he and Samuel Jackson went mm. out. Name drops. And, and um... He said, Samuel L. Jackson put him to the side. He said, watch what's going to happen when we, we go out. Mm. People are going to sort of approach Samuel L. Jackson as to the characters that he plays mm. on TV. But when they see Steve Harvey, they're going to want to take a picture with him. They're going to say, hey, Steve. They said, because you, people in, bring you into their home. Mm. People go to the movie theater to see me. So I'm this actor, this character, but they know you. Steve Harvey, the person, mm-hmm. and Steve was like, "Huh, I didn't even think of that's it that way." So people, when that's people approached good. Steve, they were more respectful Different. because they felt like they knew him. Mm-hmm. Because wow. they they bring, you know, you go watch TV, yes. Steve Harvey show, so you bring him into your home. So he's a household name. Where Samuel Jackson, he's global, mm-hmm. but you know, people don't really know him. They right. know the characters that yep. he plays, and I found that to be really interesting. That is so really interesting. I like that. I I really like that. So continuing on uh, your journey um, with with growing your social media presence, your brand, what advice can you give to a nonprofit or or just a business in general of, okay, you documented Mm -hmm. that journey. People get to know you now. What? Yes. Don't be afraid to show them the process. People love, like you said, to connect with you. Mm-hmm. If you show them the process, show them that you are a human first, like you mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. Then your stuff will grow organically. Mm-hmm. That's why the emotional connect comes in. The emotional people start to draw more of emotional connect to your product, mm-hmm. whatever your business is. So it's kind of, I won't say very important, but it's important to kind of show the backbone of your company and let people know that you know it's it's cool. It's you know we're human as well. Well, that's a good start. And don't be afraid to get on social media. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have an excuse that I don't know how to work it. Right. Yes, you do. If you can work your phone, you definitely can work a social media platform. And it's simple as just putting out a 30-second video, your face on camera, your face on tape. Mm-hmm. Little stuff like that is very important because, for one, the first thing someone's going to do is research your company. Yes. And if you're like me, I'm going to go to YouTube first. I'm going to go to social media first Mm -hmm. because social media is more personal than versus just just Googling. Mm -hmm. But my point is, people are going to want to find how is, how can we connect? Can I see, can I actually see this person? Right? So it's very important just to start social media and don't have any excuses about doing it because that's where the business is starting nowadays. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about social media, there are so many social media platforms out there. Is it a one size fit all, or or what are the the basic re- recommendations yes. you 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 recommend someone start with if Absolutely. they had to start with at least two social media platforms? Absolutely. So just for example, I'm gonna give you an example. Me doing the social media for Hodges, mm-hmm. I realized that Hodges being a adult learning institution, yes, I have to tailor towards a more adult platform. Okay. Like the LinkedIn's and the Facebook. Okay. So you start with your product. What is your product? Mm-hmm. Who is your product tailoring to? Mm-hmm. And then you find that social media platform that alters to that. Mm-hmm. So if you if you are selling, um, uh, I can't come off my head right now, a book or a magazine. Okay. Um, 
Rom com. Rom com. What's books. that? What's rom com? A romantic comedy. <laughs> Oh, I've never heard yeah, of that. I, you know it, I'm old. They call it, they call it rom-com. <laughs> rom-com, just like anime. I'm like, what is anime? My son was like, yeah, animation. I'm like, well, that's what I grew up with. Cartoons, animation, exactly. now anime. And that's a, that's a, Interesting. a great example. Anime has a very specific audience. And huh. the platform you would use for that would be more of the Instagram and the huh. Twitters. So you kind of have to go, you go with what your product is first. And those will be the top one or the top two that you use. I post more for Hodges on the Facebook and LinkedIn because I know hmm. that's where the abundance of their our, our, uh, our audience, audience is. is. So very, very intentional with your target Absolutely. market. Absolutely. Okay. Another little gem, Tamika, is that the language as well. The language will also alter as well. On Facebook, you know, you can talk a little bit more casual, but yet you want to still be hint of professional. Mm-hmm. LinkedIn, you, you you know, you have to be more on the professional and the formal side mm-hmm. on LinkedIn. So you want to kind of stay away from the hashtags, more links on LinkedIn, mm-hmm. Facebook, more pictures, less text. So it depends also on the platform you use. Also can tell how you how you use that. Wow. Yeah, so it's a it can get it gets a little bit more deeper, but in general, post on every social media that you can. Starting off, it doesn't matter if it's the same text, same picture, just start. Yes. And then from there, you'll be able to find out who your audience is, and then you'll be able to tailor and alter, you know, your text and mm-hmm. your content mm-hmm. towards. Yeah. So you mentioned starting. So should, should before they start, do you, uh-huh. do you recommend that the organization have a marketing plan in place so they have like some sort of direction as to like they want to maybe reach a thousand yes. people and Absolutely. they want to do this they want to do a b and c so Absolutely. a variety so so after social media what others what are some of the other components organizations need to be cognizant about yes. when they're building their brand and credibility in the community absolutely and where i want to start with that is this right here podcasting podcasting podcast everyone you're saying everyone should have a podcast everyone if you have, guys you hear that everyone should have, have a podcast Business. If you have a business, a podcast is becoming essential to the business. Well, you know, you're the first person I've ever heard say that. Wow. That, that's well, that's, that's interesting. Numbers. I like that. To me, let's Every, look at the numbers. Yeah. Podcasting right now is a multi-million dollar industry right now. It used to be, I'm not listening to that. Hmm. And to now, do you have a podcast? Really? So, yeah. Interesting. So, so I'm on to something. I'm, you're definitely I'm on to something. Absolutely. Yeah, because a lot of friends kept telling me I needed one. But I, I said, okay, well, then I'm going to open a studio. And a lot of them say, oh, no, you could do it from home. I said, I'm not doing it from home. <laughs> I said, if I have a studio, uh-huh. I'm going to have a studio where people can rent. Because yes. you know people can rent the studio oh, you to record their own podcast. This nice and luscious studio? This is available for the public what? to rent. Yes. So this okay. is this studio is available for the public to, nice. re- to record their own podcast. Wow. I record my own podcast, and um, so I said that's what I wanted to do, and it's it's worked out really well. Yes. It's worked out really well. So I love it. I at first I said, oh, people will rush in and, and start mm-hmm. to record their own podcast. That didn't happen. So I said, wait a minute. I can get sponsors to pod- sponsor my podcast Absolutely. so that it pays for itself. Absolutely. So, guys, you hear that? Grow Your Nonprofit Podcast Studio right here in Do Fort it. Myers is available for rent. And also, I'm always looking for new sponsors mm. to come on and advertise your business on Grow Your Nonprofit Podcast. You can't beat it. So, okay, so we have our social media. Yes. We have our podcast. Yes. What else we need to be thinking about when we're building our brand? A team to make a, 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 team. a team. Okay, suppose it's just me. We have a very, very small budget. Yes. Should we? We. I don't. I can't pay for a team, but maybe I could pay pay for a consultant. Absolutely. Or outsource it. Absolutely. Okay. And with social media, when you pay for a team or an uh, a outsource, it, it's 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 nothing major as you think. Mm-hmm. An outsource can be literally one person uh-huh. with a camera. That's okay. usually all it takes for your social media to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, a team is kind of essential nowadays because the the technology is being, getting very, very crazy nowadays. Oh, AI. Uh, yes, AI as Chat well. Chat GPT. Yes. I've, been, so I've I, even been using so that. I can definitely understand for the people who say, oh, no, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. 
That's fine. That's where a team. That's where your team. Or outsource comes in from. I'm a coin that comes in that. Mm-hmm. It's a perfect opportunity to also you get to learn as well. Mm-hmm. So your your consultant of the the outsource that you're using is not only helping you but they're teaching you mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So a team or not a team or having someone on that end to help you is very very important. Mm-hmm. And like I said to Mika, it doesn't. T- Okay, I don't have podcast equipment. I can't afford it. That's fine. You have a video camera, and all you have to do is just your cell phone. A, a day in the life records thirty seconds to a minute of you doing your everyday at a table signing papers. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But just be active in that realm because that's the first thing people are going to look up is mm-hmm. your social media. Mm-hmm. So if you can't, you know, fathom social media, get someone who can. Get a mm-hmm. team, outsource. Use Tamika, you know. So you use someone. Use use your family members. Use your yeah. partner. There's mm-hmm. someone there that can hold a camera for you, thirty seconds to a minute. Mm-hmm. Easy breezy, beautiful. Mm-hmm. And and the benefit of using a team, I, I like how you call it the consultant, the mm-hmm. team member, um, is a is cheaper than hiring someone yes, full time. Absolutely. And B, it gives you an opportunity to work on your business and not in your Thank business. You. And that means you're focusing on big picture items. Yes. To grow your business, Absolutely. right? Because we shouldn't be worried about uh, doing the social media, doing this and doing that. You could be on the phone talking to a potential client or going to lunch with a potential mm-hmm. client or sending a sales letter, mailing it That's or sending an email, which can generate thousands, if not a million dollars versus trying to do everything yourself, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that just gives you, a, like you said, you focus on the big picture. I think that's a very important gen that you drop every time. I love mm-hmm. when you mention that or bring, in, bring that concept up of you not working in your business, but on your business. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. very important. Mm-hmm. So I, okay. Okay. So before we wrap up, any other things nonprofits should be thinking about? Because we, we covered mm-hmm. documenting mm-hmm. Your, your journey. Mm-hmm. We also covered social media yes. and the, the social media appropriate for your target, target mm-hmm. audience. We also talked about podcasting, mm-hmm. and then we also uh, talked about uh, team. Yes, having what's team. number five? Number five, I can really dig dig deep in the bag, and this is like when you, he's digging deep in the yeah, bag, guys. You guys, yeah, I hope you're taking notes. Yeah, and this is this is when you're really starting to get a feel for everything. Okay, it's content. Content. content what is, does that mean? What does content mean? Easy breezy, beautiful content is you sitting down talking. Content is you sitting down. Fake, you, can, you can fake sign papers. Huh. Content is you doing something. Okay. That's all content is. You being active and showing it. Mm. Content is what kind of what can I use to show the people? Content is media. Content is pictures. Content is video. Mm. Content is whatever, whatever you have to promote or show your business. It's called content. The content is the meat is the the cherry on top. Okay. You know, once you really get into your business, you really get your you on the ground running. You got your team. You you got you on social media. Now, hmm, how can I strategize my content? Hmm, how can I strategize promote my podcast? You know, so the content is the that is the how can they say the it, it, it rules everything. And once you really, you know, master. The groundwork, the content is your next big meat of the, of the yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, TJ. I've learned it so much pleasure. from you it was today. A pleasure. I'm so glad uh, you taught me about nonprofits. It's been a, a pleasure learning about this. Yeah, yeah. Nonprofits, they have a special place because um, not it's because the what I love about nonprofit is the work that you're doing. You're making an impact in the lives of so many yes, people, yes. anywhere from hunger mm-hmm. to homelessness, uh, people who are abused, mental health. I mean, the list goes on. So I always say government has its place and the nonprofit fills in the gla- mm. gaps. Right. Mm. So it's so amazing. So before we wrap up, how can our audience reach you? Yes, you can find me on any social media. I'm on every social media. Todd TJ Jordan. And coming soon is Cool Ass Media. Coming soon. That is my editing and production company. So if you're looking to get your podcast edited and produced, holla at your boy, Todd TJ Jordan, Cool Ass Media. Coming soon near you. 
<laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Thank you so much, TJ, Thank for your you. time. Thank you, Miss Peters. Yeah, you're Mrs. welcome. Peters. Yes, yes, soon to be Miss Peters. Guys, another amazing individual right here in our beautiful community, making a difference through social media, helping people build their social media. And really, I like what he said, a lot of outside the box, common sense things that are not common. I used to, my mother, that's one thing my mother used to always say, common sense is not common. So I like the ideas he shared. I hope that you enjoyed everything you learned. Basically, that was five things to help build your brand. This is Tamika. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Grow Your Nonprofit podcasts. See ya. Bye. Bye.